Come to Kuching. Come to Kuching. Come to Kuching. Come to Kuching. Do you know? Hey guys, this is going to be the first video of a small mini series of vlogs that I took when I went back to my hometown of Kuching. Short little backstory, I haven't been back for two years and it's a little crazy. Two years is a long time. So I thought I'd just bring you along with me and me just let you see what it's like to live a life in a small little quaint little town of uh, Kuching. But without further ado, let's get into it. Yeah? Oliver is going to bring me to eat the best kolop mee as well as banana fritters with cheese subscribe staring out the window reaching for a north star waiting just to wake up from this nightmare where you could be right back in my arms dancing to the limbo stuck here in the middle Tell me that it's simple, but I could paint a thousand different pictures of what is wrong. But if we turn the clocks back a couple dials, we should throw them out. Because time ain't as low, but you fill me up, and I can feel the love. <laughs> And she's right, Kuching does have a lot of character, from old colonial buildings to foods that you find littered around the whole place, to ra different races of people. So many races that will make the F1 jealous. But one thing that makes Kuching so interesting, such a nice place to visit, is like we love to take everything that's special about Kuching and just put it into one thing. Ooh, one place. And this is one of those places, so let's go explore the commons. Now that we've established that we're going to be having cakes today in this very nice, calm and quaint, you know, cafe, we're going to invite a few people on to critique the cakes. And in this first bake-off, we like to invite and you know, respectfully invite my mother. Tell us, what is, how does it taste? What's it like? It's just so delicious. There's no words for it. <laughs> you have to come and try it. Come to Kuching. <laughs> and now, the girlfriend. Very shy though. Tell us about it. Mm. Mm. There's no words for it. You need to come to Kuching to try it. <laughs> that did well. It's actually so good, the gingerbread. Oh my god. Mother again, because she just can't get enough of the camera. Kind of like her son. Kind of like her son. I guess I guess I know where I got it from now. <laughs> you know, star quality. <laughs> Sheesh. What am I doing? Very light and very... I think you should try that one. What's it like? It's gingery. It's gingerbread cake. It's just so delicious. <laughs> Come to Kuching. I'll bring you. Lastly, Daddy. Oh God, that felt so weird to say. Okay, 
father, my father's turn. It's my father's turn to critique the cake. Father, take it away, please. Take it away. All right, tell us about your experience. I can taste the ginger. It's soft and moist, and uh, I don't mind another bite. Come to Kuching. Ah, well, come to Kuching. <laughs> Do you know? <laughs> More to discover. More to discover. <laughs> you heard him, folks. Come to Kuching. Come to Kuching. It's not a request. It's an order. Come on over, we won't bite. There's loads of things that you can do here that could totally waste your time in a really worthwhile way. Because nothing's better than wasting time and feeling good about it, right? A little wisdom, because if you're doing things that, you know, that you're not exactly enjoying and you don't enjoy wasting that time, why are you wasting that time, right? If you're gonna watch Netflix, watch it purposefully. You know what I mean. So, come to Kuching. Come to Kuching. No questions, okay? I'll see you there. I'll take you around, just like my mom. Let's go. So today was the first day that I've been back to coaching after two years. So after having the nice cakes, you know, having a little bit of food in the afternoon, it's only right that you go and visit your, your grandparents. So that's what exactly what I did. And I didn't film much of it simply because, hey, respect thing. Like it's a respect thing. We're Chinese. We were love to respect our others. So I just sat there for the whole time just chit chatting. So it's not like I could record anything. So that's what I did. Hence, instead of that, here's some dinner footage of the things that my family likes to eat. And it's not, it's not an everyday thing, but it'd be nice if it was an everyday thing. Mom, Dad, whenever I'm back, I expect you to do this. Come on, give me the food, man. Give me the food, man. I'm back for the food, man. Not anything else, okay? Don't worry, don't worry. So this is how you wrap a duck burrito thing. It's a Chinese thing. I don't even know what it's called in Chinese, but usually people just call it kao ya or sao ya, which is roast duck. And you usually like to wrap it in this little thing, you know, like a... I'll call it a tortilla, okay? We, we make duck tortillas. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta smear. Smear the sauce on top of the duck, okay? After that, you go and put a little bit of that duck on top of it. It doesn't matter how much duck, but you know, I am watching my figure, so I'm only going to use one. After that, you're going to give the duck a few of her, a few, a few of her toys, okay? You're going to put a blanket over them. You're going, to, you're going to give them a nice bolster. And after that, you put a little more, smear a little more sauce for that little razzle dazzle. You feel me? And... Here! <laughs> you, you pick all the good food at least. No. Good I do. Good I because they don't put like too much flour or fat. Yeah, so I can see the water. Do you want me to like... Oh, like... Do you have any more meat? Sure. Oh, yes, I do. Alright, that's it. Dinner's done. On to drinks because we all love a little bit of that pizzazz to end the night, you know? I'm sure the average number of six cocktails a night is acceptable, right? I mean, that's the average number, right? <laughs> gents, gents, gentlemen, that's how we like our mimosas, right? In large amounts. Just me? Nah, it's all right. I'm go. If you don't want your mimosas, you can give it to me. God, what am I doing? What's wrong with me, man? I'm 27. What's up? What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, out here is better. Wow. 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 Wow.
over here we ordered something a little it was on their menu and it's apparently their specialty but it's weird because i don't even remember what it's called all i remember is it was this chinese name on top of it so i guess the alcohol worked because i don't even remember what it's called right hey maybe it is pretty good probably thousand island ah there's only one way to find out It's cold. It's, yeah, it's really cold. I'm gonna pour. Short spoiler, it was in Long Island iced tea. Sadly, I love Long Island iced tea. I'm super basic and everything like that. But if you listen carefully, my, my younger brother did not exactly say Long Island iced tea. Probably Thousand Island. Probably Thousand Island. <sighs> I don't want Thousand Islands. I want Thousand Dollars, bro. Give me a Thousand Dollars, bro. But yeah, he went full salad on us when Thousand Island. An alcoholic pot. Yeah. Okay. Come <laughs> How's it? How's it? How, how's it? How is it? How's it smell? It tastes like rum and coke. Can. <laughs> no, no, I'm just bad at alcohol. And just like that, the first day is over. And that's exactly what Kuching is like. You don't have giant eventful things happen because we are it's sort of a small town with a lot of commercial buildings coming up and the mass amounts of cafes just popping up like it's nothing. But yeah, that's exactly what Kuching is like. Really chill, food that you'll see in the coming videos and just all around vibes. But if you like and enjoy the way I speak, you like the content, you like everything that you see here, or you just like to watch people do things and enjoy their lives. Hey, I'm glad you popped by. So without further ado, please like and subscribe because I don't even know what that does for the channel. Not right now, but if you do, all three of my brain cells will appreciate it and we'll find out together. All right, until next time guys, Kanpe. Come back. Come back. Better to have a short life that is full of what you like doing than a long life spent in a miserable way.